Hey there everyone, what's up? This is Aram here and today we are going to finish this project and if you guys remember I've told you that this is a JavaScript project. I'm going to use some JavaScript in this project. Uh, in this project we have to add the navigation bar plus we have to add this uh, slideshow and yes as I've told you in the last video that we are going to fix this issue. So uh, let's get started and uh, let me tell you that I have changed the style of JavaScript because uh, in the JavaScript I have shown you in the introduction I'm going to create and use that in another project and for this one I'm going to create an other um, Navigation bar and I'm sure you guys will like it. It's a surprise. Okay, so you will when I will be when we'll prepare that one, you will. I'm sure that you guys will like that one. So let's get started. And first of all, let's fix these issues. Okay, um, I'm here in in the same folder as uh, if you guys remember JavaScript recording folder. And here in this fo folder, I am going to index.html file. So let me move myself into this file. And then here, first of all, I would like to fix this issue, this line and all, all these things because it is not like this. And on that day, I was too tired and I didn't uh, wanted to fix it because of my tiring. So today, let's fix this one first and then we will move on to our slideshow and navigation bar. Okay, so here in the uh, uh, editor, index.html, I'm here going down and down here somewhere. Let me show you where is that somewhere I'm talking about. So in the footer section, okay. And in the footer section, first of all, let me show you where here in this newsletter heading four, the fourth one, I think it's the fourth one, fourth widget. Yeah, one, two, three, and this is the fourth one. So here, uh, here I've made a mistake actually. Here, after having this column six, and then we have to go with column medium, mm, column medium six, and then margin bottom four. Okay, the first first issue is this one. Then I I have to I didn't um, uh, you guys can see here this one it's a division so I didn't close the div the main div and then here here it was a mistake that it is not a row raw align item center it is only the raw is a different class and align items is a different class so let's save it now and let's move on to the browser where it is you guys have seen that it was it, it is it was loading and now it is loaded and now you can see that the this line it is finished and the icons are on its um, proper place and this is the footer credit okay so these were the mistakes i've made and yes i'm going to add this code in code pen so you guys will see this and fix these issues also now let's fix this slideshow issue first of all and then we will go and create the um navigation bar so slideshow wasn't uh, it hasn't any kind of issue we have to um we have to create a javascript code for the slideshow so here in the main.js i am going to create yes one thing more let me show you that what is another thing here in this one sorry 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 uh, this one actually here it was in gray color, but actually I, I had to change the color and I have changed the coloring to our theme color that was orange or E9 something. So let me show you where I have done this one. Actually, I have already done this one and I was to show it to you guys, but uh, here in this, here's a card and the card has info li link. Okay, this one. So it, before it was and the triple nine okay it was in this color here also so uh, this color wasn't going to work for us that's why i had changed this color eb9003 okay so now you can see that these cards um these elements of the cards are also working and it's looking nice and great so let's move on to the slideshow and for the slideshow we have to move on to our main.js 
and in the main.js let's create a function sorry a variable so the variable is going to be slides index okay which is going to be equal to zero then i'm going to have a function i'm just invoking it here and i'm going to pre make a function again so let me slides and it is now i'm going to create this function so show slides and then uh, let's create this function so this function is going to have a uh, function keyword then show slides okay because i'm i've already invoked it here i'm not going to create it so it is show slides and then what i have to do is to I have variables so let i the variable i and then let's use the variable slides is equal to i'm going to assign document dot get element by id uh, not by id i think we have a let me check uh, it's it's not an id i think we have used a classes here so 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 yeah classes okay i haven't used the uh, id so we have a class so let's go and get element by um get element by class name and now i would like to have a, my class name so the class name is slides okay let me show you so you guys can see the slides we have used this fade one there uh, in CSS so we are going to use this slides so with all three because we are going to use three images so with all three we have a slides class so I do have a slides class here I am getting this um, by the class name okay then after having this one let's have a then we have another class and this class was let me show you dot okay so i'm going to get this dot class so for this let's say let dot but i'm going to call it document get element by class name and here i the class name is dot not did let me show you again can you see this dot 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 so these and the, here is the class name dot now the next thing is I'm going to use a loop here so for i is equal to 0 and let's say i is less than slide slide dot the length of the i is going to be less than the length of the slide and then i is going to add okay by increment it is going to uh, increment and then what i'm going to have a slide and i'm going to use an array of i means the this i variable is going to be in the uh, in array and then let's have a style 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 dot display okay and it is going to display none okay now the second thing is again i'm going to use this slides index um slides index um let me get this it is it should be slide index okay so let's have a slide index variable and what we are going to do we are saying that slide index is going to increment and I'm going to have a condition here if the um, SLID is if the slide index is greater than the slide slides length okay then slide um, slide index sorry then slide index is index is equal to one and then what we have to do next is a loop again for 
i is equal to 0 and then i is greater uh, less than dot dot again uh, it's not a dot it's a dot okay let, let's go with this one it's a dot okay not here and this one dot i thought that i used a dot here but it's dot 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 length um and then it is going to have it then it is going to increment it okay and after this what it is going to do let me let me let me say that dots uh, is going to have an array of i where the class name is going to be dots again and array of i and then class class name is going to replace okay so if you guys remember we had created this active class and then it what it is going to do uh, let me show you hold on and the slides are uh, slides are going to have an array of slide index minus one and then what we are going to do is creating a style the display and this time before we have used the display none property but we want to create to display in a block and the next thing is about the dots class or sorry the variable and here we do have an array of mm, slides uh, slide index minus one so slide index minus one not a and what it is going to do here it is going to get the class name which is uh, I'm going to add equal to um, active active class okay and it's active not as if active and then it is we have to set time so you know set time out uh, sorry set time uh, out and then it is going to say that uh, show slides and the timing in which it is going to be shown is going to take two seconds let's save it move on to the browser and let's see okay so we do have our slideshow okay so the dots are also having a loop okay so now let's move on to the navigation bar so for this let's go to the index dot HTML and here in the index.html I'm going to the top and let's have a nav bar and let's see and our nav bar okay so I'm not going to use a bootstrap navigation bar here as um, if you guys of course you know if you are new here then I'm uh, let me tell you that in all, all the projects are in bootstrap and I'm mostly I'm using the bootstrap nav bar but now in this one I'm not going to use the bootstrap one uh, so let's start it with the division and let's have an ID of nav okay and then we have to go with a division, finding it a class, and this class is going to be toggle BDN. Okay, and what I'm going to do here, I'm just saying on click, assigning a on click button, and I'm not going to pass any kind of parameters, I'm just having this one here, 
and then after what I'm going to do is toggle EDN on click button and let's have a span element so one two three okay now what we have to do next is uh, let's create a uh, let's create unordered list so within this unordered list let's ha let's have some list item so first one is going to be home i'm going to copy and paste it home about the blog and uh let's say contact okay so what i'm going to do let me remove all these homes from here so home is gone let's say about uh deals um blog let's go with the contact and contact okay now the next thing is uh, let's have a division here assigning it a class this class sorry um okay it is not going to affect so let's have a social class right now and what i'm going to do let's have a i class um, f a b and f a facebook now what I'm going to do, let me copy this one, paste it here, 2 and 3. So Facebook, Twitter, and let's have Instagram here, okay? So Instagram, let's save it. Move on to the browser. Okay, so we... Uh, where is the trader? I think the spellings, yeah. Okay. So we do have three icons and the uh, nav element. Now let's go to the CSS and start styling this one. So here in the CSS, I'm going to the top of this um, page. CSS page, so let's say nav bar, okay? Nav bar, and let's start styling the R nav bar. So, first of all, we do have an ID. Our ID is nav. Let's have a position. This position is going to be fixed, okay? Then let's have a width. The width is going to be 250 pixels, and then let's have a height. The height is going to be 100%, okay? Then we have to go with the um, background and the background is going to be black. The next thing is going to have a left and this left is going to be minus 250 pixels. I have used some other numbers but they were not working well for me so that's why I have used this number. Okay, this 250 pixels. Now let's have a transition here which is going to be all. And it is going to have a 0 0.5 um, second then linear okay the next thing for this is nav active class and I'm going to use this active class in um, JavaScript okay and here the left is going to be 0 then I would like to go with nav and the unordered list and then list items and here the list style is type is going to be none okay and then we are going to have a color so the color is going to be white and let's go with the padding so the padding is going to be 10 pixels and then 0 pixels I know you guys are you guys don't know what you we are coding for because we haven't seen but i'm sure you guys will like it so text align is going to be center and then what we have to do is let's have a border 
bottom and it is going to have a one pixel solid and let's see I'm using the orange color okay let's save it let me show you if you can see something okay you guys can't see anything because we haven't done it yet done with this but we don't have the nav elements here or the nav links now what we are going to do next is let's have a nav um, dot toggle BDN toggle button remember we have this class so we are going to have a position it is going to be absolute then we are going to have a left of 260 pixels and let's go with the top and the top is going to be 20 pixels okay then we are again going to have a navigation now and the nav is going to have a toggle not toggle toggle button with a span element so what i'm going to, i'm doing here i i am sure that you guys understand but just for the, this toggle button and these span elements okay so this is what i'm uh, covering here and what i'm going to do <coughs> excuse me let me drink some water okay <clears throat> okay mm -hmm. span now here i would like to go with the display and this display is going to be a uh, block and then we do have a width the width is going to be 45 pixels and let's get the height so the height for this is going to be 10 pixels okay now the background and the background is going to be orange okay then let's have a margin the margin is going to be three pixels and zero pixels and then what we have to do next next is going to have a um, cursor is going to be pointer and let's style it here so the style is going to be let's have a border top left okay this border top left is going to have a radius and this is going to be 15 pixels now let me get the same property and value and here i'm going to say that right or actually top border top right is uh, sorry border yeah border top right radius is going to be 10 pixels okay and now let's get our um, social icon class here social media social icon class is going to have a color the color is going to be white and the margin for this is going to be 12.5 pixels and then we are going to have a again cursor and it is going to be pointer then we let save it then we don't have anything we have to go with javascript okay so okay it's fine looking nice so we do have a hamburger menu okay if you guys um, have watched one of the video the restaurant video with html and css in that one i have created the hamburger menu same like this and the navigation bar or everything all the elements of nav were in this one so it is more or less like that but it is not that one um, it is a bit different with the, uh, from that one so it now when i'm clicking on it it's not going to do anything so let's make it um, responsive or uh, 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 how you can say let make it function okay so how, how it is going to be first of all let me bring it here and now it is going it will be it is very easy here to have a nav bar like this so sorry the the navigation not navigation a uh, menu bar menu bar like this okay i am sorry let, let, let's create a function the function is going to have a button and the button is going to have a document dot let's say get element by id and id if you guys remember we were using this nav id okay 
and then let's say the class list use the class list property and it's called the toggle and the toggle that remember I've told you we are going to use this active class here so here we have used this active class let's save it move on to the browser and let it reload and let's when I click on it wow okay so we have a nice slide or a site menu the slide is like it is sliding here let's click on it and it has the nav bar and this these social icons so uh, it is responsive so let's go and check the responsiveness of this um, website so here is let me toggle dock it here and so now it's looking like much better than that one why because I have used a logo a very big logo or image here so that is why when I click on it you guys can see that the menu appears okay and when I click on it it disappears so and yeah it is working so you can see that it is responsive to all breakpoints yeah it is coming behind uh, in the back of all these but you know you guys can use Z index to bring it on front so we have done everything uh, you can see that everything is stacked nicely on top of each other and this slideshow it is also working on the small screens so yeah we need to use the Z index so use the Z index for this okay and it is because it is fixed so just use the Z index for this and uh, I hope that you guys like this project and let's see this overall what we have done so the menu again or the menu word is uh, proper word I think let's use this one so menu and hero image with buttons and this one is a, about a section deals of the day slide show um, sorry uh, some images in the slide and the blog section then a footer section so we have done everything with everything well and these these things I'm going to fix in the code uh, and I'm going to upload the code in uh, codepen.io uh, the link of that one there is a video here um, on this channel over that over that I have mentioned all about the project that all the projects uh, code in codepen.io so go and get it from there okay so I'll see you in the next project till that hasta la vista ciao ciao